Hey, good morning to you. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. It is Friday, August the 19th, 2016 at 8.28 a.m. Central Standard Time. Right now outside it's probably about 75 degrees, humid, and uh, cloudy. May get some more rain today, I'm not sure. Got on another one of my golf shirts, Cutter and Buck. I just discovered them yesterday. So, uh, we got a lot of little videos today of comments. I'm going to do um, cut. I'm going to do some videos on comments. I got three or four, I think. But anyway, this is the first one. And I won't mention the name. But anyway, it says, uh, Have you ever owned a road trek or any Class B or C motor home? No. I have not. Do you have an opinion on the different chassis? Not really. Uh, Transit, Promaster, Sprinter, Chevy, or Ford. But, but, old Rusty has an opinion on everything, okay? Even though it's totally useless. Useless. I did and have seriously looked at possibly purchasing a Class C uh, motorhome. Uh, what brand you know, didn't matter to me. I'm just looking for a small one, 22, 20, you know, in the 20 foot range, 24 max, short, you know, hopefully a full time bed, you know what I mean? What, not one you have to put down and put up. And, uh, <clears throat> but I did look into chassis a little bit because the chassis normally uh, includes not only the frame, but the engine, you know, the wheels. And sometimes it even includes the uh, the driver's seat, and uh, you know. And I looked into trying to find out really what are the differences, you know, what are the ups and downs, and and really for me it became rather confusing because I'm not a ch technician, I'm not an engineer, and what I found out is it was just frustrating the hell out of me. And so what I decided to do was, and I didn't follow through, but I'm still looking, is just find me a Class C motor home that's suitable to my goals and whatever the chassis is, it just is, okay? Because I did, I looked at, you know, forums, chat rooms, you know, and different things, and everybody's got an opinion, just like me, and how much, what's the value of them? About that, because what you'll find is every one of the chassis that you're looking at will have its strong points or its pluses and and, uh, and some of them will have a few little negative or you'll hear some negative things and you'll hear some positive things and all you end up doing is is confusing yourself in my opinion which is worth that so uh, you know my recommendation would be simplify the process somewhat and find a motorhome that you like the exterior interior layout of and uh, just go with it. Whatever chassis it is, I promise, in my opinion, is probably going to be okay. They're, they're all well engineered and well built because they're truck chassis. And those trucks that are on the highway, the 18 wheelers and the other big trucks, you know, they go for a million miles and you're not going that far. So, anyway, having said that about chassis, which I know about th this much about, uh, but there's so many different motorhomes, and of course, a lot of them use the same chassis. You'll find that out. Now, one one thing you might consider, and this might be a piece of information that's useful, find out which chassis is used on most motorhomes and go with that. Because the reason it's going to be used on most motorhomes, of course, first is going to be because it's cheaper for the, for the manufacturer. But number two, it'll probably be because they have the least... Uh, number of uh, failures on that particular chassis. So, having said that, this is Rusty78609. That's my channel. All lower case, no spaces. And I do, I talk about RVing, but I, I, I've had uh, mostly travel trailers, the bumper pulls. I've had a fifth wheel one time, and I did rent a couple of motorhomes from RV America and just traveled around a little bit. And they're nice. I mean, I don't know what chassis they had. You know, I think it was an Itasca thing. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was fine. So, having said that, uh, I, I hope I've confused you a little more. <laughs> and you're, 
you know, believe me, when you start looking at motorhomes and all that crap, it's like, it's so much. You know, if you, you try to analyze all the different components and so forth, good luck with that. But anyway, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, bye, and out of here. <laughs> Enjoy your day, folks. Yabba dabba doo.